Hey guys, uh, this is Normal here for Technique and today we are going to test out the benchmarks of Lava Iris Selfie 50 an entry level phone with, uh, uh, which is pretty decently specced and has a selfie camera so it has a 5 inch FWG display powered by 1.3 GHz uh, code core processor from Broadcom and it has 1 GB of RAM it has an 8 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel front camera and 8 GB internal storage so let's start off uh, the benchmarks with the Antutu benchmarking app so the Antutu benchmark scores are here it's uh, 13046 so it's pretty decent score for an entry level phone which is higher than the Moto E so uh, the scores are pretty much okay for an entry level uh, segment phone so now let's uh, start the quadrant test So the device has come up with a value of 3594 that is lower than the Moto E even though the Antutu had higher values than the Moto E the quadrant scores are much lower than the Moto E values. Now let's start the Nena Mark 2 benchmarking test. So the Nina Mark 2 score is 50.4 FPS and again it's slightly better than the Moto E at 49.5. So now let's run the Velamo HTML5 and the metal test. So the Velamo browser results are out, it's uh, 461. Now let's uh, do the Velamo metal test. So let's start the metal test. So the metal score is uh, 631 that's pretty decent uh, for an entry level phone now we'll do the multi-touch so next is the multi-touch tester so we have placed uh, 10 fingers and uh, you can see it supports 5 point multi-touch so that's the lava iris uh, selfie 50 multi-touch so we are done uh, the benchmarks of uh, the lava iris selfie 50 uh, so we have covered the Antutu Quadrant, Velamo, Nena Mark 2 and the Multi-Touch. So hope you like this video. If you have any specific queries, just drop a comment and we will be glad to help you out with your queries. If you like this video, do hit the like button and subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos. And thanks for watching this video.